morning. It is bright and early and I am just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're starting a new project. It is a garage floor removal and replacement. And then we're saw cutting uh, just an apron in the driveway uh, so we can access uh, the garage floor with the equipment a little easier. Uh, Pat's coming in. Big Ray's not going to be here today. Um, he's having some issues with his knees again. So he's off for a few days. Uh, lots been going on. Uh, yesterday I didn't video, uh, but maybe I should have. So we'll catch up on a bunch of stuff today as well, do a little bit of talking. So a couple shout outs this morning. Uh, the first one goes out to Terry. Um, Terry's from Iowa, didn't say too much about himself, but he did uh, send me a gift. He sent me a couple patches, the Fort Dodge Fire Rescue patches, uh, which those are awesome. I love to collect patches. And then he also sent me a really cool flannel shirt. Uh, I don't know how he knew my exact size. I don't know if I've ever said it. It's too extra large tall. So good job on nailing that. And then over here, uh, shout out to Raymond. He sent me a letter and then he sent me a couple patches and a picture of him. So this patch here, he actually wore on his uniform in 66 and 67 when he was stationed in South Vietnam. And then when he got back, he was assigned to a burial team, so he wore this patch uh, with along with his formal greens. So that is a very, a very cool gift. He also says here uh, that uh, he knows how much I appreciate the men and women that have served. And then he goes on to say as well that these patches, he feels comfortable uh, giving me these two patches that will take good care of him. And they've been literally around the world. So that is a very cool gift. Uh, it's always awesome when somebody sends me something that I know means a lot to them. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. And yes, I will take good care of that. All right. I'm going to take this trash out and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. All right. Just got done working out. I worked out three times last week. This is my first time this week. I try to hit three a week. I don't know. Such a struggle. I don't hate working out. I hate getting into the groove of working out. Once you get started and make it a pattern, it's easy. Also, what's easy is stopping. Once you miss once or twice, it's easy to not come back for a while. Hi, right, Lisa. Good. How are you? Great. You have a great day. Thanks. Would you like a receipt today? No, that's okay. All right, have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right. All right, it is about six o'clock, just pulling into the yard. A uh, lot's been happening with the building. The guy's working on it right now, here already. That guy starts early. It's not even six o'clock yet. Pat's here, because he's always early. Interesting day yesterday, and why are the lights on on the Mac still? Ay, ay, ay. There's some lights on the top of the Mac, so the battery's probably dead. They're not going off. That's not good. So the lights are turned off on the Mac, and we still have some clearance lights on. Well, let me grab the keys and see if it starts. I'm gonna drive the tandem today. Pack can only work till like lunchtime, so with Ray being gone, I don't have any drivers, so I'm gonna try to get this garage floor out quick. Morning. Morning, Pat. You're driving the Mac. Okay. Big Ray's not here. Let me see if it starts the lights were on the top. I don't know why. I can come back uh, after my appointment. Oh yeah? Well, let's just see how the day goes. Okay. I hope this thing's it's got... Just, I, I, oh, I hate to take the time off, but... Yeah. All right, that still runs. I don't know why those lights are turning off up there. They're stuck on. I have the lights off right now, and those clearance lights are on. I'll just smash them out with a hammer. What do you think? That'll work. Yeah. That's the block mason. He's, he worked, I don't know, till what time last night. And here's he's here working under the lights. Where did Carlito put the breaker? Oh, it's over here. We're going to have to put that on a trailer, too. And then we're going to bring the mini the mini skid loader as well with that breaker just to make sure we have everything just in case I can't fit under the garage door let it air up for a minute here do you see the temps next week cold next week is it yeah mid 30s for lows upper 40s for highs Carlito here Eric's here 
It's gonna be a beautiful day today. 70 degrees as a high. I mean, this is unusual weather for this time of year. Next week, taste of reality. Highs in the upper 40s, lows in the mid 30s. I gotta give these guys some instructions so they get out of their trucks. Man, what's up, Eric? I'm full of teeth, man. I feel good. You full of what? A tease. A tease? Like teeth, like house remedies. Oh, a tea? You're still kind of sick? No. Nope, oh, I was going to say, man. No. Oh. Dressed like it's winter outside. I know, he's dressed <laughs> like it's January 15th. <laughs> it's going to be a lot colder next week. I know, yeah. A lot like, colder. I got to get my body into it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I kind of exaggerate. A little bit. Um, Hook up the trailer that's behind the little dump truck. Hook that up and then put the, the little MT on it with the breaker. And I just want to make sure that we got it because he's got to leave early. So I want to make sure we got everything just in case we've got a problem. Can't get under the garage door or whatever. We don't have no time to like go back and forth or go get something if we don't have it. Okay, time to get off Facebook. Yeah. Come work. Thank you. We're going to hook up the trailer, grab the breaker and put it on the trailer okay. where we normally put our breaker. All right. And then you can help Eric load up the empty with the breaker in both buckets. Somebody tried to steal the form truck yesterday. Way. Yeah, Sunday. Well, actually, it was Sunday night. I'll show you pictures. What? I got them all on the camera. So I'm putting all the keys away. We got to stop, start locking stuff up, being more careful. Because we did catch them, obviously. I put it on the internet and they were caught within three hours, but still, you know. Yeah, I'll pull forward and then uh, we'll get this breaker on and then tie that down. Morning, Tino. Morning, sir. How are you doing? Good. All right. Had to rent the breaker because we broke the tip on our breaker. So I hope that's done today. Hopefully. Because this probably is not cheap to rent the breaker. Down! A little more down. Perfecto! All right, this one's all good. Just gotta load the MT up on that trailer and then we're ready to go. We don't need anything special on the job man that's, that's crazy. lady man. late late right. late Sorry. man i gotta go get the other buttons over there right i don't know i don't know where they are yeah i guess they're over there just get the uh, smooth bucket i sent you the address just go to the job after you load it up i gotta go dump the concrete off that truck ray's not here today they said he might need w double amputation no way, yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, just above the knee. Hey, this video is sponsored by DeWalt. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Put the uh, saws on. All right, I got to make sure I have what I need out of this truck. And then I think we're ready to go. Right. Yeah, they came in like 6 o'clock, 6.15. Yesterday, or Sunday, they came in like 6 o'clock, 6.15. There was three of them that came in the yard. They were here for a long time. They came in here. They went in all the trucks. They were looking... The guy had a bag. He was looking to fill the bag with whatever he could find. What? Yeah, and they went in all the trucks. They didn't find nothing they wanted. And then uh, they went in the form truck. They tried to put it, they couldn't put it into gear. The one kid tried to put it in gear because you know it's hard to get in gear. And then the one kid jumps out, the other kid jumps in and he's trying to put in gear. And they couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Rookies. Yeah, rookies, man. <laughs> rookies. And then and then they ran over there, went in the Mini X and all that stuff over there. Then they ran across to that business. They ran across to that business. Then they came back over here, went in the building, messed around in the truck some more. And then they left. And then apparently the business, not apparently, the business over there, they damaged some of his equipment. They busted up some of his equipment. So then I had like perfect pictures of their faces because they were at they were at the form truck they had a camera literally right in their face i don't know how they didn't see them i'll show you the pictures so then i put it on facebook like around nine or something like that and it just spread like wildfire it had like 1.3 thousand shares i started getting emails i knew the kids names i had their yearbook photos i, I had everything so then i was like trying to figure out what i wanted to do because i didn't call the cops or anything i was like i think i'm gonna go to the school so that was a plan. I was going to go to the school and see if they had a resource officer because I knew they were in school that day. I knew everything about them. And then uh, I was like, I'll just wait and I'll just think about it. So then I came back here and the cops were already here. I didn't call them. 
and one set of the parents was here <laughs> they had all three of them before i even said anything <laughs> just because of the post wow it was all over it was in the school the Damn. kids were all looking at it i won't say who but somebody sent it to the kids and then the kids started sharing it with yeah. the kids in the school imagine being those kids in school and everybody's coming up to you like look at you stealing the truck bro you'd be so it feels so caught like you know you're done yeah. the whole school knows that's crazy <laughs> Why were they trying to mess yeah. with a social media person? Like, well, they didn't know that. They didn't know who we were. They just got really unlucky. So yeah, then they got caught and that was that. That was really bad luck on their part. You can mess with anybody's equipment, but not here. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with those big counters. There. Oh man. Yeah, I could see, I could see them all the way at those other buildings on the cameras. Go behind the bill. I could see them running back and forth. Like all the way in the back of that building on the cameras. Those cameras are good. So anyway, what are you gonna do with the phone truck? That's my question. Oh, I think they were probably gonna just take it for like a joyride. Thought they was gonna do a burnout like, here or something. Yeah, but maybe drive it right into the <laughs> pond. They were gonna do something just like mess around with it. They weren't gonna like steal it to steal the tools well, or anything. They didn't they were... take that because it would have been so much closer. Oh yeah, if they would have took it, you know, I got the trackers on everything. Yeah, I would have known what, right where it was. So what are they gonna do to them? Nothing? Like in real time, I know where it is. I wasn't gonna do anything, but they busted up the guy's equipment. So, you know. They like what, 17? 16? No, they were younger, yeah, 16? 16? 16-ish. I told their parents, I, catch a case. I talked to his parents and I was like, you gotta, I say, you gotta deal with this now because this kid is a future criminal. I mean, they're carrying a sack. I mean, they're, they're future burglars in a couple years. And you know, that could be a really bad life for them. Really bad life. If they don't get the power right away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the dad, the dad was like that. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to show the video because it's, it's over and done with. And that just wouldn't be right. So that's what happened. That was the story interesting day yesterday i didn't video anything yesterday but i should have all right i'm gonna drive this thing dump the concrete and then head over to the job get a very very full load of concrete right now all the concrete came from uh over there we had to take out that road where they're going to put the power through it's one of the things we did yesterday took that concrete out of there uh pressure washing the fence tino tino only has maybe a few hours to completely finish the fence front and back that was another thing that happened yesterday so you see there's some vans working on the building later when we get back i'll walk you around a lot of stuff's happening in the building right now a lot all right here we go Man, I jump in this thing and it's absolutely bone dry. Barely a drop of diesel fuel. Come on, man. It's funny looking in the trash containers where the trucks fill with diesel. Beer cans, spit, fried chicken, mini liquor bottles, more beer cans and energy drinks i'm not saying nothing all right now i can go dump the concrete finally i think that needs some grease back there guys still aren't here i stopped for diesel i went to the dump dumped the concrete and they're still not here hey carlito plywood i don't know how the other guys aren't here i literally went to the dump dumped the concrete filled my truck with diesel as usual and i still beat them here that's just crazy man it is crazy hey, that wasn't the other side 
He dropped everything over there. He confused. <laughs> On the other side of the street? Really? Oh, next door. Oh, oh over there. <laughs> well, I'm glad he didn't start breaking the concrete out. <laughs> we actually did that one time. Many, many, many years ago. So we had a guy that would excavate for us. And uh, we had a drawing for him and we were only doing like part of the driveway. So it was clearly on the drawing and he just took the whole driveway out. <laughs> that was not good. So we ended up paying for all that. So this is what we're doing. We're gonna rip this garage floor out. He's got it cleaned out real nice for us. So that's perfect. And then we're gonna saw cut three foot. Actually, we'll probably just go to the edge there. It doesn't make no sense to leave that little square of asphalt in. So three foot, we're gonna cut across and then bring it back up right here. We got some pretty decent clearance on this one. I mean, it's not great. They're never great, but. So this has a black footing all the way around. So this concrete should be free to come out. Oh, Tino's here. Hey, Tino! Did you guys have the right address or no? Huh? Did you guys have the wrong address? No. I stopped at the gas station. Sorry, For a long time? I don't know. That was a long time. Grab all the tools, a pick, shovels, sledgehammer, all that kind of stuff. We're taking the garage floor out. It took him a while to understand. A while. All right, we got our plywood laid out. Try to keep it from getting too messy around here. Do the best you can. It's not gonna be perfect. Nothing is. We're gonna take that light off. Unplug that light. Unplug the light. Daryl Jr. would be upset right now. Really upset. Is this breaker about the same as ours? It's faster? Faster. Is it? Yeah, I haven't been real impressed with our breaker. So when they put the tip, the new tip on, I told them to recharge it and grease it. Just not real impressed with these breakers though. Oh boy. No power? Too early for these. <laughs> Yeah, you went to the gym, man. man that, that wasn't even hard. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking I was gonna have to struggle. Hey, am I gonna make it in here? Just keep an eye. I just start breaking. There's a huge hole under there. I thought it was a basement for a second, but it's not. It's just a, it's settled out under the floor. What's that? It's a rental. What's that? got broken carlitos break out in front here break out in front here with this machine you can't go in because the boom's gonna hit here Man, this machine comes in handy. Oh, oh yeah. So what I did is I went around the entire perimeter and I loosened it all, zero damage. And now we can come and take out the middle of the floor and we don't have to worry about, you know, pushing against the block. And I think got more power than you would imagine for such a small 25 horsepower machine. You want to throw some chunks here so we can get in with the track? We'll put the beak on, then we can take the middle out because now the whole outside is loose. That concrete is thick right there. What? what? Needs a little repair. What happened? And we char it was on the charger. And I thought I saw you go around there and unhook the charger and everything. I did unhook the charger and I put it in the shed. And it rolled up oh. the floor. 
At any rate, looks like it was repaired once before. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot worse, believe me. <laughs> Where was it? On the street? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Mashed. I just gotta get these screws aligned there, so. <laughs> Carly, don't go dump that and put the beak on now. Got to put in the last, the six screws and I can put it back on. Nut driver bits? I don't think so. Not here anyway. I mean, we got ratchet, but no, we don't have nut drivers. Well, maybe for the impact we got, we do. All right, got the beak attachment. Let's see if we can grab some bigger chunks now. That's what we were hoping for right there. You want to cut that off and then throw it on the top? That's exactly what I was hoping for. There's all kind of different ways to take out garage floors. Everybody's got their ideas of what works best, but you kind of got to balance, you know, the risk of doing damage to efficiency and speed. So somehow you got to take it out quickly and not bust up the garage. <laughs> so, and this worked out pretty good. You get pretty good money for garage floors. They're not that hard. As long as you're careful, you don't damage anything and you have the right equipment, it goes pretty quick. Backup camera, which I love, makes it real easy to keep your machine on the plywood and see if there are any cars coming or people walking or whatever. Super good feature. You guys are so lucky I got all this nice equipment, man. But did you look at you had us? Oh, wow. Want to watch the equipment do all the work? For real. You'd be swinging the sledgehammer for like four hours straight. Jackhammers. Ah! Thank you, Beak. Yeah, the Beak is nice, man. Oh yeah, somebody told me that it would be faster if we cut all the concrete into squares and yeah, took them out with forks. Good. I was like, okay, with you forks. do it your way, I'll do it mine. Forks? That's how we yeah. used to do it by hand, I mean. Yeah. Dude, I mean, I can see for some stuff, but yeah. come on. Not these. Yeah, no. So lucky. What do you think about bringing Daryl Jr. in tomorrow? Oh. He's been calling and texting me a lot, lot, lot. Yeah. Is it gonna work? Is he gonna work? And it, oh, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could run the buggy and then go to sleep. Yeah, he's been calling me and texting me mess. He wants, he wrote a rap song. He wants me to rap. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm like, I don't think so, Jr. He, he wrote, hand wrote. He hand writ a whole rap song. What is it? Like three verses. Uh, it's in my messages or something. You gotta put it going. Is he rap like rapping or he just? No, he wants me to rap. Oh. Do I look like a he, rapper? You can tell he's bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's bored. He's writing rap songs. Uh, I don't know why. Why? Because you put Carlito in the short. Oh. oh. Guinness. Daryl Jr. Oh. So he saw that, so now he wants to go against him. Oh, yeah. Because he got the better verse. 
Hey. Sí, Carlitos, por eso. Hey. Yeah. Epic rap, rap battle, Daryl Jr. versus Carlito. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. Man. Right? Huh? They steal your video. The they, one I send it. Carlito, they steal every yeah. single video I put out. Oh. Why are you surprised they steal the one with you? They're, they have them re-edited into shorts within two hours and they're up on TikTok. All right, just a little bit more. Take a couple scoops of that gravel out of there. And that's about it. Snap some lines, grade it, and then we gotta cut out the driveway. That's just concrete. There's some gravel in there. There ain't hardly any dirt. That can go with concrete. Mix. And then give me 10 ton of gravel. So I should go to the pit? Uh, wherever is convenient. You want coffee? 10 ton. Do I want coffee? Yes. Okay. You're going? Yeah. Let me park this. I'm in the street right now. Okay, let me know. I'll buy you. Just give me a second. Thank you. <laughs> I do want coffee. It's that time of year. It's cold out. Cool out. I shouldn't say cold. It's not cold yet. It's getting there. Pow! That garage floor was like nothing for us. Oh, yeah, you got all the We got all the Pow! No damage. Perfect, man. Blacker. Oh, no. Cream. I got to have cream. Okay. Lot, extra, extra, extra cream. I like a lot of cream. Sugar? Huh? Come on. You didn't go to the bathroom this morning? You were at the gas station? Come on. I bought the gas station. Might as well. Let's go. Pow! Let's all go together. What do you want? Oh, wait, you yeah, one is enough, but when it's cold, then I start shaking. You do? If I drink too much beer, I start shaking. Yeah, yo, me too. Man, I gotta drink a lot to get feel like that. A lot, a lot. I used to take pre workout, and the uh, C4 it was called, it was a powder. Oh, yeah, in the morning, man, you could feel it. You'd be tingling, and you'd be ready to go. And then my friend was like, You gotta try this other stuff. It was called Hyde, H, like Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. I took that stuff one morning, man, and my heart, and I felt jittery, my heart, and I left the gym. I left. I felt really bad. Yeah. It was kind of scary, and I gave well, him. You were the, gonna get a heart attack, right? Yeah, yeah. You so gotta be careful with those things. Yeah, I took the jar. I gave it to him. I was like, "Here's a present for you. I'm never taking that stuff again." Different effects, you know. Yeah. Well, some people have taken. Some people have taken so much caffeine That's they so died. Yeah. If they like drink super tons of Red Bulls or whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of ton of people that drinks a lot of monster. <laughs> yeah, monster. Through the day, right? Yeah, I know. Like three, four in the day. I heard. I can't do that. I heard those energy drinks. They get the. I think it's vitamin E. They get it from the the wastewater management plant, like where they filter your poopity doopity. No way. They scrape the, uh... the vitamin E that's in the energy drinks. That's one of the ingredients. It's called like cyanide. I don't remember. I heard they had a lot. But they, it's from the sludge. I'm glad I don't From the waste treatment plant. That's crazy. Yeah, it's true. You know, everything on the internet's true. <laughs> yeah, right. No, it's true though. It's for real. I heard a doctor talking about it too. Well, some days I wish you guys would take some of that. Knock that side down just like a quarter of an inch. I mean, just a touch. What did you do the weekend? What did I do? Yeah. What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. Yeah. Saturday we had a picnic at our church oh, for uh because I work in the, the handicap ministry. So it was awesome, dude. We invited like we invited all these people from different group homes and families. We had invitations. And last year there was 16, only 16 people that came. Mm -hmm. This year it was like 57, I think he said. Something like that. It was awesome, man. They were bringing the vans. There was so many people. So you I'm telling you, man, like if you ever get a chance to work with like the disabled, it's awesome, man. Like they, you know, they're in wheelchairs or they're, they're mentally handicapped, all that, but they, they still are happy. Yeah. Like you bring them to something like that at a picnic, like they really enjoy it. They're laughing, they're smiling and they don't have nothing, man. Mm -hmm. And you think about our lives, like we got a lot, man. And we, compl we, complain, and we about complain about it. it. Yeah. It changes your life when you work with people like that. You complain about every day, but somebody has it worse. Yeah, well, when you work with people like that, it puts like life into perspective again. That's why I do it. I love working with them. Yeah. I actually changed. I used to be with the adults, just the regular adults, and then last, well, the beginning of the summer, I switched and I started working with them. I just felt like I, I, something I wanted to do, and I'm really glad I did. It's really close right now. 
Hold it. Let me just check it now with the level. Okay, grab a chalk line. You go to that side. I got a better mark over there. You can see it, right? The little uh, pencil mark. You see it? It's right under the drywall. It's not far under the drywall. See it now? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It looks perfect. Your pack. Oh, I want to. I can't find anybody around here that builds trucks like that. Everybody that with those kind of skills lives down south or out west in warmer climates. There ain't no race car builders around here. Whoa! It's one thing about these, they're slick. They're really slick. Just uh just tilt it up for now. Right, I'll, I'll scoop it all the way up. I'm just gonna scoop the gravel. Scoopity doopity. How do you like pressure washing the fence? What's good? <laughs> you love it? Something is something, right? Yes, sir. Hey, I feel like. <laughs> the coffee was strong. He put, yeah. the, he put the Colombian. Oh. <laughs> The blocks, yeah, because we can't. Okay, why don't we use the thin or this one? Uh, the thicker would be better. Okay. How much we got? We well, got plenty. Oh, okay. I to know. Yeah. All right. We're graded out for the most part. We gotta chalk some lines and saw the approach. Who's got that pencil? Pensiola? Pensiola? I got it. Pensiola. I got it. <laughs> Carlito, I'm sorry. <laughs> these... Hey, how come you didn't finish your donut from Carlitos? <laughs> it's really hard, man. Yeah. Like, listen to this. Listen to this, Eric. It's harder than wood. It's like some oak. Listen to how hard it is. Just that? Yeah, it's hard as a rock. That's all, Carlito. Thank you. I'm sorry, bro. Well, they had the fresh donuts here, and then they had the week old donuts over here for like 10 cents each, and Carlito's like, oh, I get a deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's got a tape? Everybody does. Grab the concrete saw we got to cut. Took a line. Can you see the mark? It's like an arrow. Okay. Got it. Perfecto. Okay. Crayola or Carlito? Exactamento. All right, that was really good. Tino put felt on the block so the concrete doesn't fall down there. Cause that's a four foot footing. You'll lose a whole bunch of concrete down there if you leave those cores open. So if you're wondering why we did that, that's why. Get that one out of here. I'm gonna break it with the little one. It's more precise. Fuck it outside. Just move that one somewhere, move it out of the way. I really like this machine. Still not comfortable, but the thing is awesome. Who's cutting? Nobody's cutting. Score it first and then you'll use water. We're gonna get this asphalt out of here, we'll grade it, and then we're done with the equipment. You hit him with the asphalt? Oh, him and Big Ray are gonna be chilling like this. What's wrong? Careful, like I said. Careful for what? Why is there a wire there? I don't know. Just let you know, man. It goes right there. You gotta be careful, boss. Wow. Okay. Romex all bundled up right there. We're just finishing up grading that little approach. 
and uh, we basically need to clean up the equipment, sweep up, hose the driveway off, and then get out of here. I have a meeting with the uh, internet guy at 12, then I have to go to my attorney to have him sign something from the energy company, not sign, I have to sign, it, it's gotta be notarized. So I gotta get that stamped and get that back over to him so I can get power to the land. I have to meet with the plumber and the electrician today. There's just a lot going on. We're not doing that much field work, but there's just a ton of other stuff that I'm having to do. In a sense, I'm kind of glad that I'm not swamped with work right now. All right, we're all set up there for the morning. The guys are gonna stay, pick up the plywood, load everything up, wash the driveway down, and we'll be back in the morning to pour. I got a bunch of stuff to do right now. So I'm taking off just a few minutes early, but that went really, really well. It's 11:19, uh, so that was fast and easy, and nothing broke or got broken, which is always a plus. Hi, I'm just pulling up to the yard. The internet guy's here. He's really early. He wasn't supposed to be here for 25 minutes. I'm not late. But that's fine with me. We'll get that out of the way. I need to talk to him because I got a very conduit across the parking lot. So he has access. So I need to figure that out. I'm gonna walk over there. I'll show you everything that's been going on. As you can see, there's a lot of people working on it right now. So there's an electrician, HVAC guy, mason, plumber. I think the carpenters are done for now. But wow, there's a lot of people all in each other's way. <laughs> so I'll walk over there. So the HVAC guys are here. Obviously they're putting in all the venting right now. I think they're starting with that. Over here, we're gonna have the electric. It's gonna come through here. It's gonna be a transformer right about there where that pile of steel is. And then that's gonna come right through here. It's gonna enter the building right there. There'll be a panel on the inside. And then right here, we're gonna have a couple AC units. So I gotta pour a concrete pad here. The HVAC guys will take care of the rest. And then the gas lines going in here. These are for all our meters, six units, six meters. So that's all ready. The electricians have to put the sockets in before the energy company comes. They won't come before. So this is really cool. We have masonry block going up. So he finished all six small pillars. He's working on the center section. That guy is a beast. He works all alone. He did all six pillars himself yesterday. He showed up super early, worked super late, and his work is meticulous. That guy's a beast. I only seen him work one day, but he's a beast. That's who was here super early this morning. Bunch of gas pipe going in. Lots and lots and lots of Romex going in. So in the lounge, we're going to do the outlets low. In the gym, we're going to do the outlets low. In the shops, we're doing the outlets higher. A lot of stuff we talked about yesterday. How's it going? I don't want to be on camera. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> wow, you're so handsome. Thanks. Oh, so you found those boxes right away? They were in stock somewhere? Yeah. The had adjustable had boxes? Okay. We had some in stock, so yeah. Oh, good. A virtual supply house, man. That's perfect. <laughs> so these adjustable boxes, this was one of our difficulties yesterday because we have the steel paneling on the inside, just like what's on the outside, and they can't have fixed boxes because, you know, you can't have a box end up on the rib. So those adjustable boxes, they'll be able to slide the outlet and hit it in the middle of the ribs. So that's what those are for. Slide back and forth. Lots of plumbing going in. All right, I just had a little meeting with the electrician and the plumbers. We got everything figured out around the kitchen area where the refrigerator and all that kind of stuff's gonna go. I met with the internet guy. We got that all figured out. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna do a plant and put a box, you know, over by the lot line over there. We figured that all out. 
So that's good. And the guys are just pulling in. They're all finished up. Now I'm gonna run to my house. I gotta print some papers, take them over to my attorney, get those notarized, and then get those back to the energy company. Immediately, I gotta run up to Comet Welding and order the bollard pipes. I got 12 bollard pipes going in on this side, all six inch galvanized pipe. We gotta put those in uh, next week sometime. And then we gotta bury the downspouts. I'm gonna do four or five downspouts per side and I'm gonna use six inch pipe. So I got some of the fittings that I need here. And I don't know what size downspouts they're putting in. Four inch or maybe five inch, I don't know. I gotta talk to them. So I got the adapters for four inch though. So this is all stuff we're gonna be putting in like really soon because I wanna pour the concrete on this side of the building like within the next couple weeks, have this whole side all poured out. And then we'll have that knocked out. We'll shut it off right there, shut all the plumbing off right there. Then when they come to do the, the sewer lateral and water supply and storm drain, you know, we're not gonna run into each other, so. Who's that, your agent? This is my, my brother-in-law, Miguel. Oh. He's looking for, for work. Oh. Well, I'm almost out of work, so sorry. <laughs> That's it for today. Okay. So Autumn's having trouble with her car. I just started it up and it is smoking. She said yesterday it lost all power. That's not good. Not good, Autumn. Smoke is not good. Were you going too fast, too aggressive? <sighs> yeah, it's actually smoking pretty bad it was it's always something man these cars have been really good to us the Kias oh my goodness it, it's just plumes I know you guys can't see that but it is smoking really bad it's kind of weird because it's it's idling perfect. I mean, and it feels okay. Yesterday she said it lost all power though. Oh, it is just blowing smoke. Man, what's the deal? It doesn't sound bad and it doesn't feel bad. But it is smoking bad. I hope the motor is not gone on this thing. Or going. But smoke is always a bad sign. Hey, Nate the Great. Hey, how's it going? Good. So you, you probably know I'm calling you because I want something, of course. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> and, uh, so I got a question. Good. I got a question. My daughter's Kia, uh, yesterday she said it was losing power like really bad. And I said I would look at it. So today I started it up and it, it seems to run fine, but it was smoking. And then I like I gunned it on the street and it was smoking really bad, a lot, big poofs of oh, smoke. Wow. And um now it warmed up a little. It's weird though, Nate, it doesn't sound funny. When I was driving, I had plenty of power, it's running like perfect, but it was smoking. Is there anything that would cause smoke besides like the internals? How, um how is the oil on it? As long as it Oil. I want to make sure first thing that it's not running low on oil. Oh, they just changed the oil. It's fresh. Okay, that's fresh. Okay, well, you can have. It's either going to be two things, or yeah, it's going to be the internals of the motor that's causing this to happen. Because um, oh. if it was overfueling, causing the smoke, it would. It, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be doing that. It'd be doing something different. Um, otherwise, it could be the timing. Um, the timing chain has loosened up. Yeah, you can was, you can uh, smell it too. It don't smell good. Like, does it smell like uh, unburned fuel? No. Oh boy. How many miles are on that motor? Like a hundred and seven thousand. Uh, yeah. The next thing I would do is a combustion check. We got a compression checker and just pop out each spark plug oh. and see how the spark plugs look and see what the compression is. Man, you give me bad news. <laughs> How's your shop? Are you busy? I mean, I'm keeping up, uh, but yeah, I can I can definitely get anything in if you if you're looking for work. 
Yeah, well, you could probably take a look at this thing and tell me what you think, if it's junk or, or maybe it's something else. Uh, there's, there's a lot of other probabilities that could definitely cause this. So like it's, a nice, it's a nice car still. Like, it's really, really nice. It's not a hoopty at all. Yeah, I've seen that. That's that same Kia uh, that you had me do the AC yeah. work on. Oh, yeah. Yep, that that's the one. Yeah, I can absolutely take a look at it. All right, how about at, uh, Thursday at noon? I'm just going to pop over. Well, there. it'll be in the driveway, so you can come anytime you want. Awesome. That, that's the easiest then for me. All right. Otherwise, you could probably just put some new pistons in real quick, eh? Yeah, I'll pop them in. I got them <laughs> in my back pocket. Perfect, perfect. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. Autumn, oh, just park it somewhere else so you can get my truck out if you need to use it. Oh, that smoke, that, that's a really, really bad sign. That's like big engine problems more than likely. Oh, no. Yeah, like your car is probably because when I took off, it left like a huge cloud of smoke. Huge. Whoa, what's on your chin? What were you eating? Oh boy. I don't know. Cars have been really good. I know Ryan's. It's just weird. Yeah, Ryan's hasn't had any engine tr trouble at all. Okay, just pulling back into the yard. My wife's redecorating <clears throat> outside, so I grabbed her begonias for my pillars over here. And then uh, what I gotta do then is I need to measure off the lot line. So I talked to the city yesterday. I have the permit sitting right here. I gotta fill it out. That, <clears throat> that gray shed that we put there last year, I'm gonna move that over here. And once I move it over there, we're gonna bring electric from the building right through there as well to power the two fountains we're gonna have in the pond if it ever rains and it gets full water. <clears throat> so I need a new permit for the shed and it's not really that big of a deal. It's just a zoning permit. And I talked to the guy and he's like, just fill all it out. You pay the fee or whatever. And then he said, it's, it's likely not gonna be an issue. Then uh, we're gonna take some of the roof off and we got to take that lean to off in the back and it's going to be a little bit of a pain, but we're going to, I'm going to try to lift the entire shed up once we take that back part off. And I'm going to attempt to just with that lift, bring it over here and drop it on a new concrete pad. I don't know if it's going to work or not. That'll be interesting, but that's what I need to do now is measure off the lot lines and fill that out so I can go turn that in. I bought mums, but I let them dry out. They croaked and blew off. <sighs> Same thing as last fall one year exactly all right i am done for the day it's like five something i had a bunch of running to do uh, i turned in the permit to the city to move the shed uh, i couldn't get a hold of my attorney unfortunately today so hopefully i can get that done tomorrow i came over here and all these concrete beams here they were all uh, laying down right there and then we had all those little trees shrubs all that junk so i moved that all with the excavator and uh, the excavating contractor is going to come when he finishes the rest of the work and he's going to break those up into pieces to get rid of those. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we're going to pour that garage floor and then we're just going to continue working around here. Uh, there's a ton of stuff to do. I made a list. So we're going to be busy here for quite a while, which is fine. You know, I, I ran slow on work and I still am. I still have some jobs, but... I'm finding out it's probably not a bad thing. There's just so much more work here than I ever thought there would be, uh, but it's coming along. So the electricians and the plumbers got a bunch of stuff done today. It's going good in there. And the mason looks like he's gonna finish up tomorrow with the block. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. All right, before I go, I'm gonna call Daryl Jr. I haven't had him come in in a long time and he really wants to come in. So maybe tomorrow. What's happening? Hey, how's it going? Uh, Good. Do you want to come in tomorrow? Of course. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, we're just pouring a garage floor. Oh, all right. With That'll the be 
Yeah, but Big Ray's not here and Pat's not gonna be here, so I need the best oh. operator around. <laughs> All right, well, I'll pick you up in the morning like around five forty. Five forty. Yeah. All right. I'll see you that tomorrow. Okay. Uh, so Bye. Nice. All right. He's excited. Daryl will be here tomorrow. Mm -hmm.